Neil from Essex here to answer a viewer question today. A couple weeks ago, we were walking around out here around our used disc mower conditioners and talking about these different machines and telling you a little bit about them. I'm trying to sell you some used equipment. And in the process of doing that, we spent a lot of time talking about the conditioning systems in these machines. And we came across a couple of comments, a couple of questions from people who are new to this industry, new to this kind of equipment, and didn't really know all about what is out there as far as conditioning goes. So today we're going to take a little bit of time. We're going to talk about the different versions of hay conditioning, why you want to do it, and why it's really important in order to get a good quality crop. Messix, a helping hand with your land. One of the most important aspects of making hay is the moisture of the hay as it goes up into the baler. If you have hay that's too wet, it can rot while it's in that bale, in extreme cases even catching fire. On the other side of things, if you have hay that you've dried out too much, you start to lose the feed value of that product and it doesn't create as healthy hay for your animals in the long run. Now there's a bunch of ways that you can go through and manage that moisture level and hay conditioning on the backside of your disc mower conditioner is the most common way to do it. Now let's start here. Conditioning your hay is an optional part of this process. There are disc mowers out there, there are sickle bar mowers that are out there that can cut grass, lay it out on the ground without conditioning it. And that is a process that you can go through, but you're gonna have a harder time getting that hay in order to dry down properly, right? By it sucking up the moisture off the ground or getting rained on, get, timing everything just right for that kind of product is really tricky. And so more modern equipment now, we refer to as disc mower conditioners or on the new Holland site, a disc bind. That's their trade name for a disc mower conditioner conditions that hay in a way that helps it dry down faster with the goal, in some cases, of hay in a day, where you can go out, mow the hay off, get it to dry down quickly enough in order to bale it up before it might get rained on or before it starts sucking moisture up off the ground. Now, in these conditioning systems, we've got a couple of different choices. Our preferred system for conditioning hay has usually here at Messick's been the rubber roll. This tends to be the most popular option here in our market. These are like I said, a rubber roll. If you push on them here a little bit, they have a little bit of give to them. It's a hard rubber. And this chevron shaped roll uh, meshes together as it spins. And as you go across your crop here and you cut your hay, the lifters here are gonna throw the hay up into the middle of these rolls where the hay is gonna get rolled through. Now, as this happens, these mesh together, but they don't quite touch one another. And that goal is that as the hay comes up through there, it's gonna get bent and crimped across each of these chevrons as it's pulled through the rollers. Those crimps are gonna create places in that stem now that moisture can escape, and so it's gonna help that product to dry down more quickly. Now, works great, and there are some pros and cons to every one of these systems, and one of the cons to the rubber roll is that it can wear a little bit, right? Like I said, this is a hard rubber, and over time, these will start to wear down, and so you are managing in here some timing and also a roll gap that kind of keeps this system working correctly. And so in some cases, we see a steel roll over here that we can look at as well. Now over here in a steel roll machine, you're gonna see something that looks fairly similar and there's some pros and cons here. Being that these are steel, these are generally a little bit more expensive than what a rubber roll machine is going to be. The material cost here is higher. These are also going to be heavier, and so you have a little bit more wear and tear in the machine when it comes into the bearings, and you're also gonna need a little bit more horsepower out of your tractor in order to run this. Now, there's some pros here, and the pros are that the steel roll is going to last longer, and it's gonna hold up better in abrasive conditions. If you're pulling up rocks, dirt, sand, that kind of stuff up into your roll system, the steel rolls are gonna handle that and last longer than what the rubber rolls will. Now, in terms of your crop, these are a little bit more aggressive than what a rubber roll is. Now, that can be desirable if you want a faster dry down effect, but it's not necessarily desirable on crops like alfalfa where the more aggressive your conditioning system is, the more leaves you're gonna knock off of your product. 
And that's why we need to look at flail conditioning. Our last version of this is called flail conditioning, and you're gonna notice here this is a little bit different. Rather than having two rolls that are meshing together in some fashion, this relies upon the cutter bar to cut the hay and then throws it up against the upper hood here on the inside of the machine and it basically beats it with flails in order to get that conditioning done. This is a more aggressive system and it is better in some cases. If you have really thick stemmy stuff that may not crimp the way that you want going through a two-roll machine, this is gonna be more aggressive. And it can even be better, too, on some of the really fine stuff. If you have fine grasses that don't bend when they go through the conditioning rolls, sometimes the flail is gonna handle those a little bit better. So, kind of better at the extremes of the crop spectrum, right? The really fine or the really thick. This setup too, because it's not pulling the grass through two rolls, can handle really high and thick volumes better. It will clear the material out of the machine more quickly. Now there's downsides here, right? Because you're chucking that hay up against the top of the hood, you're beating it with the flails as it goes around, and things like alfalfa, you're knocking all the leaves off as you go, and you want those leaves in your bales. So pros and cons to every one of these designs. Our final conditioning system here are these crusher rolls. These things are kind of new around here at Messix and they're a different way to think about conditioning. When we looked at our rubber roll and our steel roll machines, we pointed out the fact that these are non-contact rolls, right? They're meshing in a way that as the crop goes through, they're kind of pushing that crop together. They're trying to crimp it between those rolls, but for wear and for noise, you don't want those rolls touching each other, right? They're supposed to touch that crop without touching one another. These are built differently. Um, these are actually called crusher rolls and they do what you would guess. These rolls are made to touch one another. The material and the rubber that are in these are a little bit compliant, a little bit softer than what's in the other rolls. And when you feed things through here, like this little piece of aluminum and it comes out the other side, you'll see here that it takes the shape as the rolls as it goes through. It's actually smashing the crop as it goes through these rolls, which is gonna allow things to dry down the fastest of all of these systems that we've looked at because it's breaking that stem in the most places in order to let that moisture out. So interesting system. We're starting to see more and more of them here on farms here locally. Uh, and these can be offered as a refit onto an existing machine if you're not happy with the conditioning that's happening on your current unit or in some cases where we've sold new equipment, we've actually removed that new set of rolls, put them back into our parts department for somebody else to buy later, and then fitted those machines with these rolls. So that is an option as well. Hay equipment has long been a staple around here at Messix, and whether it's the most sophisticated center pool pivoting machine with crusher rolls in, or super simplistic sickle bar mowers that would have been used decades ago, you're gonna find all the different tools for making hay at all of our different locations. And a lot of people that can really tell you what is the best fit for your specific application. So if you're shopping for this kind of stuff and we can help, or if you've got parts or service needs for machinery you've already got in the field, give us a call. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com. Our preferred system for, <clears throat> our preferred system for, <clears throat> 